Hello, gun enthusiasts and on revolver aficionados and fellow revolver holics. Today we're looking at a Colt Official Police in this little box that I made. Colt Official Police, the 1927 Colt decided to rename the Army Special to more reflect the actual buyers of the gun. So the Army Special name was changed to the Official Police. That was just what the gun was. The official police issue revolver for a great many police departments like New York City Police, Boston Police, and federal agencies like the FBI and Treasury Department. The official police would serve as a prime police issue gun into the 1960s and was highly favored by private guard services and civilian gun owners wanting a powerful and strong revolver. As a popular Colt model, the Colt offered a number of variations of the gun. Finishers were blue and bright nickel, barrel lengths were 2, 4, 5, and 6. Calibers were offered in 22 long rifle, 3220, 38200 British, 38 Smith and Wesson, 38 Special, and 41 long Colt. The butt was square with optional rounded butts offered. Heavy barrel versions were made, usually in 6 inches. Grips were checkered walnut with silver Colt medallions until 1947, when Colt wood plastic with silver colored molded in medallions were used until 1954, when checkered walnut became the standard. The official police post war was made from 1947 to 1969. The post war version had a ramped and serrated front sight and a new shaped hammer with grooves and the new cylinder retention system. It was available in 22 long rifle and 38 special. This is a post-war issue. It was made in 1966. I put this little box together. Bought that decal on eBay and put a little true oil on there. Put some, uh, foam in here and some styrofoam, you can cut it out and put the satin in there. Got this stuff on eBay, the screwdriver, I got this from a box of rounds. So the Colt official police. Six rounds. 38 Special, 38 Plus P. This is a good stout gun, nice and heavy. It's got a nice solid frame. This is a nice revolver. I put these Python grips on here. These grips are from Altamont. They're, they put them on the new Pythons. They're very comfortable. Good quality, checkered walnut. Got that silver coat medallion. Anyway, this was the police gun back in the day. This was, this competed with the, I guess, with the Model 15. It's a very good gun, very solid, very nice. Great action. You can stage it. Real nice, single action. Great trigger action. Very smooth. Man, when you cock that hammer, it feels so nice and smooth. Really smooth. Quality cult craftsmanship. It's got a serrated trigger. Serrated hammer. 
ramp front sight. I put that little dot on there, makes it a little easier to pick up. Yeah, this is the gun my daddy had when I was a kid. It said Biz was nickel. Let me shoot it on New Year's. But no air protection. That's the way things were back in the day. Yeah, back then you could actually shoot your gun off on New Year's. Nobody cared. Yeah. Official police, very nice revolver. Those grips really make the difference because it comes with these really tiny grips, man. They're just too small. These things, you get a real nice purchase. That's the word, right? Purchase. Whatever. The action's good, but not as good as a Smith & Wesson. It's all right. It's real smooth. Yeah, this is a nice solid gun. Good home defense. I don't know about carrying it, but I guess you can keep it in your truck or your car, whatever. But this is really more of a collectible than a daily shooter. You know, this is a, until you put in a box like this. Show it off. <laughs> yeah, Colt Official Police. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and comment. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, take care of your guns, and they'll take care of you.